We're learning disturbing new details about the murder of a teenage boy. Yeah, Trevon Richardson was shot to death just days after he graduated from Cedar Grove High School in DeKalb County. Well, today, the teen accused in his murder appeared in court, and we learned heartbreaking new details about Trevon's final minutes. Fox 5's Portia Bruner was in that courtroom for this morning's testimony. I guess the most shocking news to me today was that, you know, my son was shot in the back. So that tells you that he was, you know, he was fearing his life and he was turning, turning to run. Freddie and Nicole Richardson had never heard specific details about the murder of their 18 year old son, Trevon, until the 18 year old murder suspect, Detavion McDay, had a bond hearing Wednesday morning. The defendant in this case, Detavion McDay, is charged with one count of malice murder. Assistant DeKalb DA Buffy Thomas described what happened the night of May 28th. She says McDay was driving a car caught on surveillance cameras at the Pepper Tree Circle apartment complex where officers discovered Richardson's body. The defendant's <coughs> sister says that her brother told her that there was an altercation between the two individuals in the car and that the person in the front seat shot the victim and then pointed the gun at him and ordered him to dispose of Mr. Richardson's body. He was so scared for his own life, supposedly, that's the way he put it. He could have made an anonymous call later on, he didn't do that. He just went home and he was gonna take that to his grave until the evidence told otherwise and brought them to him. McDay's public defender says the teenager had no prior criminal history and was employed by Zaxby's and FedEx at the time of the murder. His involvement in this is that he agreed to give someone a ride to purchase marijuana. Um, and everything else that unfolded, unfolded after that, he had no idea any of that could happen. There's no word on the identity of the third person who McDay says pulled the trigger, but DeKalb police confirm they are looking for a second suspect in Trevon's brutal murder. He know who it, is, who it is, but he's just not giving up that name. So we will be uh, putting out some uh, funds for a reward to capture that second person. Portia Bruner, Fox 5 News.